In this video, I will, I will explain how to compute the number of permutations of size k out of n objects. Uh, first of all, let me remind you what a permutation is. Permutation is an ordered arrangement of distinct objects. Uh, for example, if we allow ourselves to pick from five letters, we can create permutations of length uh, from zero to five. So a D, for example, it's a permutation of length two. Uh, it's not the only one, there are many others, such as BE, and so on. Uh, what ordered arrangement means is that BE is not the same as EB. So those will be two different permutations of length 2. So this allows us to create many, many permutations of length 2 out of 5 available objects. Now, this notation, alternatively, this stands for the number of permutations of length k out of n distinct objects. And the formula is well known. It's n factorial divided by n minus k factorial. So let's do an example. Let's compute 5p2. So to find 5p2, I'm going to take 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 2 factorial. 5 minus 2 is 3, so we're dividing 5 factorial by 3 factorial. The easiest way to do that is to write the factorials out and then use the properties of fractions and just reduce them by the greatest common factor. In this case it's the entire 3 factorial. So what's left is the answer to the question. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do 7p4. It will be 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 4 factorial. So again, we have 3 factorial in the denominator. So 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But this time, instead of writing out 3 times 2 times 1, I'm just going to keep the factorial notation and reduce the entire 3 factorial. So what's left is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 and this is 7 times 6 is uh, 42 42 times um, 840 is the answer.